I guess we're doing this. I've been putting off YouTube for a very long time because even though I only watch YouTube and I love long form, I just, when I'm here, I like to enjoy myself. Um, but I've gotten a lot of comments recently being like, we miss summer at the mills. Listen, summer at the mills is great because there are fruit and veg outside, but winter is pretty nice too. So let me take you through a few days of winter at the mill. Now I will try and film this all in order, but we'll see how that goes. Basically, there's gonna be some gardening. We're gonna build a fence, I think. I'm supposed to do that. I'm only here for a few days. I'm gonna make some jam, obviously. Some cooking and then just some chaotic energy as always. My favorite part about this dog is that while we're working, this is her. She's just, she's just chilling. She's living a rest life. Are you good, Tomat? As you can tell, I am freezing cold, but let me show you my favorite part of coming back. Okay, please hold. These off. On. I have a Zoom now, so um, let's go. My issue when I'm here is that I have no desire to do real people work. Chaos. We just finished lunch and so I've got my little coffee and I'm gonna actually make some jam now because I'm writing my whole sub stack next week which is my newsletter on goat cheese and the history of goat cheese and all the different types. And I personally love having goat cheese with Sancerre. I think that's the best wine slash it's known to be the best wine with goat cheese. And so a good jam to have with goat cheese would be a Sancerre jam. And I didn't wanna do like a jelly because I think goat cheese needs a jam that like has sustenance to it and body and I just don't really love it with jelly. So today I'm gonna make a grape, like a white grape and some style jam, and then I'll share that recipe on my sub stack too. So let's get chopping. Wash these. POV, you are on a million types of social media and need to take content even when you're filming. It's a true labor of love. Let me just, we'll point that out. At least these don't have seeds in them. Most grapes in France have seeds. So these were like, oh, fancy white, they're called them white grapes uh, with no seeds. Condiment mint mill. It's so crazy. Well. Yeah. It's a boa. It's been a day. Let's make dinner. Should probably turn some lights on. 
I think we're gonna do boudin tonight. And if you don't know, boudin noir is delish. This is boudin noir and every year we buy an entire pig from this guy and he makes, he uses the entire pig. So he makes sausages and rillette and mousse and pâté and stuff like that. Um, so you know that the whole pig is being used nose to tail and then you get to buy the entire one. So last night we had the herb sausages and tonight we're gonna have the boudin noir with some, maybe some apples, some carrots. I don't know if we have potatoes, definitely onions. It's just yum, 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 yum. Tell me if this is not, I mean, these are the largest carrots I've ever seen. Apple for scale. Okay, snack break intermission. Obviously a little heart of palm. I may have used all of our onions uh, for lunch, so we have one simple shallot, and this one mighty shallot is going to um, make the meal tonight, so Godspeed, little guy. Oh, not me forgetting, I literally picked this in the garden for the sole purpose of this dinner. We've got sage, let me wash it. Not even gonna chop it, we're just gonna crumple it up like this. Et voila, amazing. Un petit peu d'olive oil. Salt. <sighs> Off to the compost I go. This is what I wake up to every morning. Good morning, Tomat. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yeah. So this is the grape macerating situation we made yesterday. I'm gonna write this for the newsletter going out in a few days, so I really do need to perfect this. Um, it's early, what was I saying? Yeah, let's get started, I guess. I mean, look at that. It is so gross and rainy out, but I actually love making jam when it rains because just listen to this. also just a really rainy this day so let's get the wine ready jams and we've got a little taster on the side when I tell you I think this is one of the best jams I've ever made that is why I did not put this in another jar I'm just gonna sit here and eat these little grapes like this
Estate. We are now on our way to Bakery Taste Test and to... What? What? I had no idea. I thought we were gonna get some, some plants. Yeah, but it doesn't open for another 30 minutes. What are we gonna 20 do? 20 minutes. No. Okay. 20 minutes. Okay. We've got a Bakery Taste Test. But not here, right? Like different village? It's time for eggplants. We're gonna find some plants, but first off, Bakery. We've got it. Like you guys to see how janky our setup is. <laughs> this is how we do it. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm honestly so glad that it's raining today because I need to finish my newsletter anyways and if I was stuck inside writing instead of running around outside I'd be very upset but let me just show you my view not so bad so I think this is a good one I'm really proud of this goat cheese one lots to know about goat cheese and the recipe and I tell you I made this grape jam this morning as you saw and I gave my dad like a little taste of it, but like in like a little jar, thinking like he would eat it all. He ate this, the jar of jam on its own. Okay. Okay, I gotta go. Here is newsletter and Instagram BTS. Okay. No? Okay. So the flooding has gotten really bad just because there's been a lot of rain. So I'm going to end this video here with a bunch of clips of the flood because that is probably where I should be putting my attention right now but anyways I hope you enjoyed and this is what winter here looks like and hopefully no flooding but let me just show you what the outside of the kitchen looks like right now kitchen door oh good good good